In this video help, we're going to be covering the inventory low level report. Let's go ahead and go there. Since this is the initial records that were put into the system, every one of them had not been shown in a preliminary inventory report. So what happens, as you can see in the top record, this one actually had items purchased against the inventory item. So the level on hand is, is high enough that it exceeds the low level, so the indicator over here is not in red. Uh, I'm going to kind of jump ahead a little bit to explain that if you're doing inventory, uh, you have to create the inventory before you can actually do any purchasing as far as entering in all the line items or individual line items. So when you go to purchase items, they will be available so that you can purchase them. Now, the reason I did this is I did one purchase record I, in the inventory record, I put a high and low level. And then when I actually did the purchase, I purchased 12 items. And then we invoiced one out so that the current level is 11, but it's still higher than the low level. So it is not in red. Typically, when you come in here and look at this, you will have all the information with high and low levels and there'll be purchased items against them. And you'll be able to see the items in red for things that need to be reordered. Now, obviously, what you need to do in this thing is to go ahead and do a do find, go to the store location, put your store location in, and perform the find. This will reduce the list to just the items for your store at the inventory level item level. If you're looking at things and they look like they're obliterated, just click on the field, and normally what it'll do is it'll go ahead and indicate the rest of the information that you want to see in there. Uh, the store one levels and stuff like that actually can be edited on this screen if you want to add them in here. Uh, as you're, say for example, you're walking around and doing an inventory, uh, but they need to indicate high and low level only. You cannot change the quantity on hand. This is a calculated field. If you're looking at a record piece of information and you want to omit the records as you're going down through, if you're doing an inventory, click the omit that particular line and it'll omit the line. And as before, this will go ahead and uh, show you the omitted records. And this particular little icon, what this does, it shows and hides the menu bar at the top of the screen. Typically, this would be an ideal report to print because it has all the items for your store and the inventory levels. This button is used to show the print menu at the top of the screen. Uh, like if you're on the iPad or the desktop application, this will show the main menu button at the top of the screen. So go ahead and use that to get the print for your particular uh, specific doc, uh, device you're using to go ahead and make a print of this particular record or sets of records. You can also do a find for um, or omit records only showing the ones that need to be ordered and then print that as well. That's why there is an omit in here. So if there's an open thing and it's not read, you can just go click, 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 click and take all those off just leaving the ones that are still uh, with an on hand. You can also do a lower than level too if you wanted to, but that gets a little bit con uh, convoluted in these records in that they have to be a minus number in order to actually uh, find those location records. If you have any questions or you need special assistance, uh, go to the support site for these typical kinds of reports onto the uh, database information screen, the bottom one. And what it does is it gives a bit addi additional information on how to use reports with more than what I'm showing here as uh, things you can do within reports. To go back to the inventory system, you click the inventory link, or if you want to go to store location customer, you can use those links over here. As, as usual, you can go back to the main menu or you can commit and revert the records if you've made changes on them. Uh, the, this only works now, again, in the browser within the server, the cloud server. If you have any questions, contact me by email. Thank you.